Hello and welcome to this video. To celebrate the start of spring here in Australia, we've come outside and today I'm going to show you the best at-home haircut. So grab a friend and let's get started. Before I get chopping, the first thing I need to do is section out the hair. I start by wrapping my model in a towel and then I brush through her hair and then I'm ready to start the sectioning. To do the sectioning, I'm using a comb and to start the first section, what I do is draw a line using the comb, starting from about the eye to about the top of the part and that's the first section. When I'm happy with the section, I brush it through and then make a little bun. For the next section, I start about halfway between the eye and the hair just above your ear and draw the line up to the very top of the head. And there's Libby taking it easy. For the third section, I grab all the hair above the ear and move around to the back. At this stage, I decide that I want three more sections, so this part of the hair I just want to break into thirds. And Mr. Willy Wagtail wanted to see what we were up to. Hi, Willy! I leave the last section out because this is the bit we're going to cut first. Now the hair is sectioned, it's time to start chopping. To get started, I give the hair a couple of sprays, then comb it through and I get out my professional hair cutting scissors. The aim with the first section is to set the length that I want to cut the hair at and I also want to make sure that the hair is cut in a nice flat horizontal line acrosswise. And once I'm happy with the length and I've checked that all of the hair is sitting nice and straight across then I'm ready to move on to the next section. With the next section, it's really important to first brush it all through and then to give it a good spray with the water bottle. Now what I'm doing is brushing the hair down and using the hair from that first layer as a guide to work out where to cut this second layer. When I'm happy with how this layer is looking, then I check that it's the same length on both sides by grabbing hair from behind the ear and pulling it to the center. Here I decided that a tiny bit needed to come off the left hand side, so I fixed that up and then checked it again. And once I was happy, it was time to move on to the next layer. For the next few sections, it's just the same process. I need to brush the hair, spray the hair, and use the hair that's already been cut as a guideline to make sure that I'm cutting it straight. And then finally checking that I'm happy that it's even before moving on to the next section. Supervisor Libby wanted to check how we were going and make sure that all our customers were happy before taking her spot on the table to make sure she could see what we were doing and check that the haircut was all going to plan. And then she got bored so she decided to knock a pot over. Libby, what did you do? By the time I get to the second last layer, you can see that the hair, when I brush it down, it's actually quite wide, but that's fine. I still just want to keep making sure I brush it down and am cutting it horizontally. For the very last section, I will give the hair a middle part so that when I brush the hair down and I'm cutting it behind, I'll still end up with an even haircut on either side. And just like that, we are done. We have a nice horizontal haircut that you can easily do at home and it looks really good too. And that's it. If you use this tutorial, please let me know. You can find me on Instagram or on Twitter. I would love to see your results. And apart from that, make sure you like this video, hit that subscribe button so you can see more of my videos, chuck something in the comments if you've got an idea of a video you'd like to see me make, and until next time, see ya! Yeah.